5th of February, the same day that the papers are abuzz with pictures of Kate Middleton on her first official royal engagement where she christened a lifeboat in Anglesey last yesterday. And inviting you by royal appointment to a lunchtime engagement starting right now, alongside me, Kate Thornton, are oh, Lisa Maxwell and Sherry Hewson. <laughs> the week to a close are two men with enormous expertise. Our first guest, Niche, <laughs> lies in the bygone days and ancient burial grounds. It's Time Team presenter Tony Robinson and we're always gock smacked at the ma this man's depth of fashion knowledge, especially when it comes to the female form and how to dress it. Mm. Please welcome Gok Wan. <laughs> uh, oh, how are you both? Good, good. Yeah? How are you? Good, yeah. Yeah, we're good, thank you. Now, Gog, it's been said by some that us loose women are old relics who are prone to making a few fashion faux pas. Uh, so, between the two of you, can you do anything for us? Well, what do you reckon? Can we sort them out? Scrape the dirt off with a trowel. Oh! Why are you asking Tony? Because <laughs> <laughs> we're old relics! Oh, that's old relics! Keep up, dear! That's the joke! <laughs> that's the joke! But thanks for ruining it, Lise. <laughs> <laughs> thank you both. We'll be on sparkling form by the time you get up, promise. Now, uh, more from them later, but first, you may have noticed that there's an empty chair today. Yes, mm. here it is. Yes, yeah. don't worry, Carol's not drunk. Chair. She's yes. actually on her holidays. It's about to be filled uh, with one of the most popular women in loose women history. Much like an antique, she's rare, rather expensive, and no one knows how old she is. <laughs> Who could sit in a chair like this? <laughs> she's back! <laughs> Jane McDonald! <laughs> Them up at the bus station. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, that's what you've yes. been doing all this time. It's either oh. the bus station or the fire station. Oh. Can't <laughs> wait. How lovely is it to have changed? Oh, yeah. it's lovely to see you. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Are you, are, are, you, are you married? Are you married? No, I'm just pretending. It's oh, much more fun. Than that. <laughs> so you you've know. been having fun then, obviously, while you've been off? Well, yes, cos, I mean, that, that's the thing. When you're not married, you can still... Still do it? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no. Not at Oh, no, I could No. No, it's too oh. messy. I'd still rather have a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> is Ed still in the shed? He is, love, it's yes. It's a blessing. He's either in the shed or chained to a radiator. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he, no, he's lovely. He's just lovely. And, you know, my mother... She's How's she? Oh, she's good. still good, bless still her. Still cruising. Hello, Mother. Oh. Hello. 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 She'll be made up. She'll be made up. I'm back on. She she's will. Lovely. Listen, you're out of the house. She'll be round doing your, your hoovering. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> get the stew on. Get the stew on. Well, Jane, I can't tell you how nice it is to have you back. So Brilliant. Should we, should we get down to business? Mm. Are you ready to, to blow off the dust? Oh, I'm glad you <laughs> finished it off <laughs> there. <laughs> yes, let's go for it. Oh, it's a familiar feature on this show. Katie Price has been making headlines once again, this time for confessing to ES magazine that despite being separated, she and estranged husband Alex Reed still meet up for sex. In the full interview today, she revealed that, uh, quote, he comes around to the house for some fun and she believes that everyone at some point in their lives has revisited an ex in the bedroom. Mm. So is Katie right? Uh, can sex with an ex... Be a good thing, and and does it does it have to be full of emotion? Can you just cut off and go with it? Well, I didn't think I'd ever agree with anything Katie Price said, <laughs> but yes, <laughs> I think you can have a bit of fun with an ex, actually. Not now, not, not now. now. I no, I don't. Well, no, I've been with Paul for well, exactly, years. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. No, when I was a young flibberty gibbet of a girl, yeah. I um, when you were small, when I was when I was. Small it's quite, quite hard to define when that was, but I, my first boyfriend, when I was 17, it was quite hard to break up and the relationship had gone, was in the toilet, but I just couldn't seem to get away from him, really, and um, just kept straight, had this kind of weird chemistry and also the drama of, you know, he said to me he'd never get over me and I just oh. was a sucker for a... But he obviously of... did, didn't he? Yes. Yeah, he did, yeah. Jane. What do you mean? <laughs> you mean how he held me around me? Yes. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm glad you're back to explain these things. <laughs> um, yes, so, so I kept going back to him, and unfortunately I was with someone at, at the time, and I got caught um, going back. 
and I nearly lost the person I was with. And I was with them for a long time afterwards, and I managed to convince them, I don't know how, that I, I would be with them, and that was the end of it. And I've never done it since. It's a dangerous game to play, but it's, it is hard to cut off ties completely. Sex is a funny thing, though, isn't it? Not in my house. <laughs> it makes me laugh. It makes... Well, trans would be a fine thing. I don't really remember it. <laughs> Such a lot, little, for so little, you know, all that fuss and mess for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, what we're talking about. Oh, yes. The next yes, uh, y no, and uh, Z. We, yes, no, but the thing is, though, what if you go back to your ex and then you're doing it? And then you go, oh, it's as bad as it was the first time. Yeah. Well, then you know you made the right decision. Made the right decision. But you, you wouldn't go was... back to, to them if they were bad. You no, know. but what if you forgot? It's like going back to a restaurant that gave you food poisoning. You no, just don't. But it no, isn't but just then you about... could be joining and go, what's all? No, no, but it isn't just the physical thing. It's the drama and the romance of somebody saying, I'll never get you out of my system. I just want to be We're with out you. Of my bed. And ooh, <laughs> don't want to. Yeah. But a man will always tell you what you want to hear. So he's going to say, isn't he? I'll never get over you, Lisa. Oh, you're jaded, Jen. Oh, no. What do you mean, never? No, yeah, that's right. I'll that's never it. get over you. Now get your kit off. <laughs> that is such a man thing to do. And I must admit, I admire you because, I'll be honest, I've never had that good a sex, so I've really wanted to go back <laughs> that much. Just keep running. But, the, the, you know, the key figure is me. It's me who's not right good at it. But um, I'm learning. Uh, but uh, I'm getting there. But, no, I think... And, and for me... It's, it's, look, I've gone back to what I was saying. Nah, can you? Nah. It's something that is very important in, in a relationship. And does it have to be in the right place? It's, well, yes. Yes. Hopefully. Yes. You're not in the back of a car. No. Uh, and uh, but it is quite common now, because especially like with things like Facebook, you know, people that are going back and retracing ex-boyfriends and no, things, and times when they thought they were happy, and they end up leaving their current partners, don't they, a lot of people, and going back to what they imagined was a happy time in their lives. Yeah, and that's it. It's yeah. the time of the life. It's mm. not the person you were with. I think yeah. it's the, the time of your life when you, you had no worries, it was carefree, yeah. you didn't have mortgages and 15 kids or whatever you've got. Yeah. You know, and, and life was a better time. And your memory yeah. plays tricks, doesn't it? Well, yours does. you remember things... <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember, really. No. And the thing is, you remember things that maybe didn't happen and should have happened and things were bigger or smaller. Not in that way, but, I mean, <laughs> just, I mean and, the, and your relationships, I mean, and they were different then. And, and just also, mean? I think, you know, I think Kate, Katie, God love her for doing that, but there's plenty more fish in the sea, there is, isn't Jane, there? There is, yes. You know, and, OK, she might live in a puddle, but, <laughs> yeah. you know, I think it's time, you know, there's loads out there. And you've got a big strapping flipper. Whatever <laughs> it's, I meant, you know, a fish. Yeah. I've got a lovely fish. Yes. I have got yeah, a very uh, nice fish. fish. What are we Do disgusting? You know? <laughs> I missed this. How did we get onto water features? In <laughs> puddles. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think it's... I don't well, it think Fish it's, Friday! Oh, hey. behave. I don't think it's a good thing to go back. Never. No. no. Never go back. No. Not for that. Well, I don't no. know, may, may, maybe with, with someone like Alex Reed, forgive me, but I think you're probably better off just doing that than having a long phone conversation. Poor Alex Reed. Listen, we have to go to a break now. I'm sorry yeah. if you're watching, Alex. He's well, been I'd, dumped by his wife I'd and now kicked mm, by little Lisa Maxwell. They're all a bit... They're a bit strange. When we return... Is it a positive move or plain patronising that the government plan to make it mandatory that women are given a helping hand to make it to the boardroom? Find out what we think in a bit, but first, here's a little peek at who's dropping by next week.